I'm gonna do VGC stuff. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna jump on the raiding battle on the battle spot and do do my battles with VGC teams, VGC rules, all the VGC fifteen, and uh, hopefully it's something you can enjoy watching too. If not, I'm sorry. Um, I made this team uh, with Trick Room. Cresselia is the Trick Room. Cresselia also has Sunny Day to set up Sun. Um, basically, both Sylvian and Dragalgi with that will have Hidden Power Fire to uh, do some damage in the Sun. I mean, it's going to take a lot before Hidden Power Fire is even worth it for Dragalgi. It's like almost only against Ferrothorn. So even a stab Draco Meteor resisted, just more than a Hidden Power Fire, super effective. But in the sun, of course, it's going to do a little bit more. Um, and then that Mega Camera up. Uh, it's going to be really important if I see a Heatran, because my team might struggle a little bit with Heatran. Uh, Hariyama and uh, Terrakian, of course, can do something to it, but my best bet is probably going to be the Earth Power from the Mega Camera Apt, as Sylveon can't really touch it, neither can uh, Dragalge. But, anyway, let's just get a battle and see what we can find. So this is right, like, right after there, you reset the ladder, so I'm like, middle 1500, and uh, yeah, anything can happen. So, we are now waiting. You can't see that because you can only see the top screen. I have like, kind of a wacky setup to record this since I don't have a capture card. And we have a battle with an Australian dude. And he has Cresselia and oh, that Amoongus in Trick Room. That can be terrible. I don't know. You never know if it's running uh, min speed for tri in case of Trick Room, because it doesn't look like a typical Trick Room team, because it has, yeah, I mean, the Bisharp usually is fast, but I mean, it could be slow as well. Other than that, it, he has mostly pretty fast Pokemon, except for, of course, Amoongus. Uh, I'm still going to want to set up that Trick Room and, yeah, deal with the Amoongus after that, because I mean, hidden power, I mean, I have fire a lot, if I don't have fire, I have ice, so uh, that Amogus is gonna struggle, I guess, I hope, I don't know, I'm not too experienced in this kind of thing, so, I think, uh, my best lead here might be, be the um, Cresselia Hariyama lead to be able to uh, fake something out. He does not have any fake out, nor does he have anything that can taunt, which is really good to set up Trick Room. Um, other than that, I feel probably. Um, Hmm. I'm afraid Sylvian won't be doing too much, so I'm gonna bring Camerupt and Dragalge in the back. And uh, let's just, let's go. So, let's see if uh, I can get a good lead matchup on this guy. So, Rotom and Bisharp. Okay, so obvious play is obvious, but I just have. To, I, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna take out the Bisharp while I set up Trick Room with uh, Cresselia to get that up. After that, I can uh, be dangerous because then Hariyama is always gonna be really, really fast and. Uh, it's gonna be a good time. I feel pretty good with this matchup, but uh, I have felt pretty good with matchups before, and it hasn't really worked. 
So, <laughs> we'll have to see how uh, things play out. It's gonna withdraw the bishop. That's I'm fine with that. I just wanted to, uh, yeah, be able to. And it's gonna protect the rotom. That's that's perfect. I will get the trick room up, and uh, now it's uh, it's a good time. So, I think I'm actually just gonna set up the sunny day right away, and um, I think I'll do that, and then I guess I'll either close combat the Rotom or knockoff on the Cresselia. The Cresselia could have Trick Room to like revert my Trick Room back which could be a pain. I think after Sun Rotom is not going to be too much of a threat so I'm gonna knock off the Cresselia and uh, that is a pretty I guess pretty physically invested Cresselia so uh, I'm gonna get the Sun up uh, the Rotom Let's see what it's gonna do. So it's gonna go for Psychic onto the Hariyama. It's gonna kind of hurt, but I mean, Criselli is not the most offensive, and I am a Salt List, so that's kind of a good thing. Now, um, uh, I think I'm actually gonna switch out the Criselia. Get in, uh, um, I don't know. Probably try to get in camera up and then close combat the Rotom. So I think, uh, lo looks like his Cresselia does not have uh, the trick room to reverse my trick room, so I think Hariyama is. More or less done in this matchup. Um, so I have things that can take care of his Bisharp. So uh, I'm just gonna get in some offensive power. This Cresselia is kind of dead weight as it was there. Uh, this close combat is gonna do a lot. I like it. Uh, let's see Citrus Berry. Um, I don't know, maybe... This is this is gonna take out the Hariyama, I'm pretty sure, yes? Um, so now... Thunderbolt, of course, not gonna affect, which is good. Now I can... Uh, I think I'm just gonna... Uh, I could bring in Cresselia on Helping Hand Heat Wave. Or I could uh, go into Dragalde and fire off a Sludge Bomb on that Rotom. Uh, but then again, he has the camera up in the back, so I think I'm gonna go into Cresselia here. Uh, with the Sun up, camera up should be able to uh, deal with the potential Hydro Pump as well. And I mean, it's in the Sun. It's Sheer Force boosted, Helping Hand boosted. I don't know, maybe it might even take out the Rotom. I, I have never done real calcs on that. Uh, I'm actually going to go for the Helping Hand and the Heat Wave. See how that's going to do. Uh, he stays in with both. Uh, see if he protects any. Probably not. But uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, does not look like any protect is coming out. So let's see how much this heat wave is gonna do. It's gonna hit both. And it's a double knockout. That's power by uh, Mega Camera up right there. So we're gonna see what he has. He has the Bisharp and uh, uh, and the Garchomp. So uh, I'm pretty much just gonna go for another heat wave and the ice beam onto the Garchomp. 
and yeah, if I don't mess up, I should have this. Considering like, well, bishop might, well, you never know. But uh, if I'm anticipating he's gonna protect with maybe both to try to stall out some trick room, he can protect with the bishop and uh, with the guard champ. Yeah, I guess it's just gonna go for the double protect. I believe I have one more turn of trick room, so uh, no, I do not. Um, Anyways, either that is a choice banded Bisharp or Cresselia can take a hit from it. So I'm just gonna go for the heat wave and set up another trick room. And I think unless he double targets Cresselia then uh, should be good. And if he doesn't, camera up is gonna get some damage off. So um, yeah, you just have to wait, wait and see what happens. Uh, he's gonna go for the Dragon Claw onto the camera up, and let's see if his choice banded. Oh, he goes for Knock on with the camera up. It's Life Orb. That is, I'd say, a questionable play by him, but, uh, Trick Room is gonna go up now, and, uh, yeah, there's not really much this card Trump can do. I have Ice Beam on Cresselia, I have Hidden Power Ice on uh, Camera Up. I don't need the Sun anymore. Uh, so, uh, that's gonna be, uh, barring something really weird like a, like a Hidden Power Ice miss, this is gonna be uh, a win in the first BGC battle on this channel. And it is. Whoa! Yay, I won, I won. Uh, I defeated Red, which is really cool. And we're off to a good start. Uh, we're like... This, this is being ranked. Uh, it's, it's weird. I have a positive rank now. I want to know. Uh, so, I definitely want to do some more of this. Uh, if you want to watch more then uh, I welcome you to do that. So, yes, have a nice day or whatever, and I'll uh, see you with another battle soon.